Hey everybody, Lance Goyke here. Today we're going to discuss another variation of the eccentric pull-up, but this is instead of uh, instead of accentuating the eccentric, we are eliminating the other phase and we are only training the eccentric. So what we do here is uh, we just jump up to the bar with our feet or climb up to the bar with our feet and then lower yourself. Okay, uh, this is another way to force reps in. So if I'm doing a whole set and maybe I've done all the normal reps that I can and I cannot do any more normal reps, then what I like to do if I need to force some extra fatigue into my muscles is I'll jump on up there, I'll step on up there, I'll wiggle up there or whatever it is, and then I'll just try to lower myself under control. If you take a really long time, it introduces a lot of fatigue and you don't have to do it that many times. But yeah, I would definitely get your butt back up there and do it at least once more. So that's a nice way to force reps out and to force fatigue into your muscles so that you're stimulating the growth response, right? Um, why else would I do this? Well, if you can't do a pull up, even not, not because of fatigue, but maybe you just have never done one. This is a great, great, great variation for you to start with because it gets you on the bar. It gets you holding that and it gets you kind of feeling what is supposed to be happening. It gets you feeling the right movements. It gets you learning how to move and lengthen your arms up and feel that stretch while the muscles are still contracting. All of that is really, really important as part of the newbie gains of strength, right? When you first start working out, you get really, really strong, really, really fast. It's great, it never happens that way again. And that's like the lowest hanging fruit for making yourself less destructible. Uh, and I think everyone should at least do, you know, 12 weeks of strength training and then the rest of their life they can maintain and they'll be much better off, right? Your strength levels just go through the roof. Um, so I can, I can use this to kind of teach those intro parts of the pull-up. So I just jump on up to the bar and I lower myself under control. As you get stronger, it's going to take longer for you to lower down because you're going to have more control and you're going to be able to resist gravity a lot better. So the intent here is just to jump up and lower yourself in as long a time period as you can and then do, you know, X number of reps. You could set those reps um, purposefully or you could just say, do it until you're just falling. <laughs> which happens sometimes, right? And that's that's good. That means you're introducing that fatigue. That means you're pushing yourself. And that means you're gonna grow from that. You'll, you'll notice gains, okay? So eccentric pull-up, eccentric only pull-up is a great variation for you to try out if you're trying to learn how to do your first pull-up or if you're trying to force some extra reps in.